Well, good morning from the RTR. If you guys didn't know, my potato skills are next level. Let's just go verify with Claire Bear. They're all right. <laughs> <laughs> So, minding my own business, you guys know when I say that, something good happens. And look who showed up, it's Rob! Hey, YouTube world! It's, uh, also known as uh, Lavender, we had a very nice video together. We did. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video, I highly suggest you go back and watch it, because Rob used to be a full-time train hopper. Hobo. Yes. Full time, like this is a real hobo, not like one the fake of the ones. Last. <laughs> yeah. So three it, off grid nomads was the name of that. Video. Yes, three off grid nomads, and he's over here looking for some trouble. And by trouble, I mean uh, he's looking for a game to play. What's this? It's a collapsible chess table. All right. And it's got four little pockets underneath on the second tier with cup holders. Yep. And... That's where he hides his extra pieces. So when you're not looking, he'll put one on the table. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> uh, always a pleasure. Hey, mine. All mine. All right. Good to see you, man. Good day. All right. Got the uh, school bus squad. We are uh, <laughs> we're just cruising around um, saying hi to people. I didn't realize how many people come to this event that watch my videos. So for everybody who's come up to me, thank you. Um, it's, uh, I had, yeah, it's like so awesome to meet people in person and um, yeah, I feel like we're already friends and you guys already know my travels and trip and story and stuff and so I'm very interested to to hear yours and see the rigs and all kinds of stuff and I don't know, everybody out here is just so nice. If you guys haven't been, um, I would recommend coming out here. I've met nothing but happy, friendly, welcoming people out here and I think it has to do with the fact that people are living with their intention, you know, they're living with more freedom, they're living with the uh, ability to do fun things in their life because they're not, <clears throat> you know, working so hard to pay someone else for their apartment, mortgage, etc. So, yeah, it's been cool. So, we got the Roll With the Crew over here. What's up, guys? Hi. Chatting with uh, Nick, we found the Black Pearl Travato, and then we just stumbled upon Pennsylvania Joe over here. Hey. You want to say hi? Hello, everybody out there. <laughs> yeah. So, very nice guy. It's so fun to meet people out here, and uh, it was nice chatting with you. Oh, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. So, right now, we are in what is, I guess, called the um, main camp area. This is our first time over here, and there is a little check-in spot, and we've seen people with a bunch of buttons. Um, so basically, you uh, give them your social security card number <laughs> in exchange for a colored button. Right, everybody's got their buttons. So, well, not everybody. Me and me and Scott. Yeah, whatever, Chad. With the light. <laughs> yeah, right, everybody that matters, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, so, this is how a button is made. That's very interesting. Awesome. I got it in Mexico City. Really? And my mom kind of bought it like as a joke. Like, oh, oh, oh. Cat. Yes, that's me. Thank you very much. Well, I was minding my own business, and look who I ran into. <laughs> Jim, the solar boondocker, also Jim in Denver. Um, Hi, guys. And so, let me just explain something. The reason I have unlimited uh, data hotspot is because of Jim. So, Jim is a genius when it comes to plans. <laughs> He's laughing, but it's true. When it comes to plans and, and, and things like that, um, so let's ask Jim where you guys can go to find out the best hotspot sell thing bang for your buck. Uh, right now, Howard Forums. You, you can find about any deal that's out there for sell on Howard Forums. Uh, they list all of the different companies, e even in Canada. And uh, there's sub forums for the MBNOs, the, the secondary sellers. Um, if, if there's a deal out there, you'll find it on there first. Awesome. Good to know. And also, uh, Jim is a speaker here. He, he's made a talk about solar so far. I was going to do one about uh, cell service because he's a master at that as well. And then what is the other one? Solar, solar cooking. cooking. Solar cooking. So um, 
I have encouraged him to put all of his information on one spot, like jimindenver.com or something. But uh, hopefully you do. So it is a great resource for everyone. And, um, you know. I'll be working on that this year. Yeah. And thank you for letting me use 110 gigs of AT&T's data in one month <laughs> for 22 bucks. And I'm sorry the plan is not available anymore, right. according to Jim. Well, it... Uh... Yeah, you, 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 it was out for about a year, and they kept extending the deadline one way or the other, and it, it finally passed. So, But there, there's more deals coming up. You can find them. People report them on Howard Forums, and you'll, you'll be able to get... Right right now, I'm paying $5 a month for my phone service. Amazing. Uh, Red Pocket. Very cool. $60 a year. Wow. And we're back. Um, I just want to thank a very kind uh, person, viewer, who came by. Her name is Jackie. Um, she tricked me, though. <laughs> she said she was going to come back and be on camera, but she didn't come back. But she did drop by a $100 um, gift card because she said she wanted to get me a tank of gas and me and Claire a barbecue sandwich. <laughs> so uh, take her up on that offer? Because barbecue <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> yeah, it does sound great. So, um, Jackie... Thank you sincerely so much for this, um, and I appreciate you appreciating me making content and things like that, so it's very, very kind of you. She was also asking me <laughs> why I don't have a Patreon, and I do have one. I haven't published it yet because I, I felt like I wanted to give back, but I think that's just me as a person wanting some kind of exchange. Um, or like a perk to give back or something, but Jackie said you're already giving back. You're creating content of value, entertainment that people are enjoying. So um, it's just a little weird for me to accept help, I guess. Um, it's a new kind of concept for me, and it's just kind of, yeah. I, I've never really liked asking for th things, um, especially money. It makes me feel weird. But I, I will get that going because I am running low, low and running out of money. And um, that would be a nice way to supplement what YouTube is not generating for me. Um, and hopefully I will be leaving this area with twenty to 25,000 subscribers. That would be halfway to my goal of breaking even. Breaking even would be maybe like a thousand bucks a month on a very modest budget so that would be exciting um and yeah so thank you again for dropping by the gift card it's much appreciated it's claire's last day why do you sound so excited about that <laughs> boo <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i wasn't really excited but that's crazy claire's been with me for the majority of when i pick up the 27th of november november whoa Dude, that's crazy. It's over a month. That is. I've been at my house for like a week of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's a long time to have a, a new friend on the bus. What are you thinking about van life or in a bus or vehicle? or? Hopefully I'll be there in two years, one year. Yeah? Soon. Yeah. 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 Who says hopefully I'll live in a vehicle in a minute, but <laughs> apparently we're saying that now. That's right. Hey, equal opportunity, homeless opportunity here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you too can you get too rid of your place, homeless. sell your car, and live in a vehicle and be homeless. But um, all jokes aside, this is a very smart way to save money, especially if uh, you're in school. I wish I did it before. And it's becoming a cool thing, which I think is a good thing because it breaks the stigma of someone vehicle dwelling. A lot of people have misconceptions about people who live in vehicles. They think they're homeless, they, <laughs> they think they're lazy, or all sorts of like negative words associated with it. But actually, at this type of event, you get to see that all of those negative stereotypes are wrong. There are creative individuals out here living within their means, um, working less, traveling more, enjoying life. I've met nothing but very happy individuals out here. So if you measure wealth with money, um, 
you might maybe have more money. But out here, it seems like the common currency is happiness. And all, <laughs> most, a high, very high percentage of the people out here are all wealthy in that happiness department. So you need to ask yourself what you value in life, what is important to you, and what kind of wealth you want to accumulate because I want to accumulate happiness wealth and this is a place of happiness millionaires. Well, it is that special time of day when all the uh, schoolies in Schoolieville share some chips and salsa. <laughs> it's almost like the who's in Whoville. But uh, we kind of have the who's who of schoolies in Schoolieville. That's a tongue twister. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody's day going so far? Having a blast. Yeah, good. yeah. So much better now. So much better. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is what a proper rooftop deck looks like here on top of the schoolie. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to sit on something, but we also go for a drive? we're significantly <laughs> higher. <laughs> we could, huh? So you can hang on the longest. <laughs> and then Dean's got uh, tilting solar panels. That's pretty smart. But uh, I think he he uh, admitted to. Uh, screwing up his 400 amp hour battery system just like I did. Hopefully it's not the case trying because... trying to make someone a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> he, that's what happens when you use a, a pot roast and you leave it on all day long in the shade. While you go hiking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't do that. By the way, this is part of uh, the RTR. This is the uh, music yeah. section. We figured it, it would be a little bit more fun over here than the not music section. Um, you know, because you can play your music and stuff. But this is like, we're on the fringe part. So, like, look at how many vehicles are around us. And there's even more that way. That's where the no music section is. And that's where, um, I think I'll be going tomorrow for a chat and a talk. And, um, yeah, there's like, shoot, I don't know. What do you guys think? Thousands of people out here? 3,000. 3,000? Yeah. Is that an accurate count? Sounds like yeah. That's true. I think I was button number 900 and something today, so... Definitely not everybody has a button, so yeah. No buttons? No, not yet. Mm. Oh man, doesn't that look amazing? It's just uh, turkey spaghetti. I made Claire the best dinner ever because it is her last night. But we also had the same thing like three nights ago, so we'll see.